it's that time again. The uh, Monday. Let me just check my recording. Everything's working good. All right. Last whole week of the year. Who knew? This is what would happen. Anyway, as we have been doing for the past couple of uh, months now, Jesus. Uh, we're doing states. Monday states. Alphabetically, we did wonderful Florida. Now we're going to go visit its northern border mate, Georgia. And here we are. Uh, good old Georgia. Capital Atlanta. Hot Atlanta, as they call it. I don't know if everyone still calls it that. It's a very... I don't know the, the demographic of actually how religious <clears throat> Georgia is, but I'm sure it's up there. Anyway, I'm going to click like outside just because it said um, Church of God in Atlanta, Georgia. But um, let me tell you some little facts about it, and then we'll, we'll, we'll get right into it here. Uh, is that a dead end? It is. Okay. Um, 24th largest in area, 8th most populous. And it is um, founded in 1733. I'm just going through Wikipedia here. You probably do the same yourself if you wanted to. But it's a uh, defined by a diversity of landscapes, flora and fauna. State's northernmost regions include the Blue Ridge Mountains, part of the Appalachian. A very old mountain range. It's, uh, I want to see what the tallest mountain is. Highest point is a mountain called Brasstown Bald, which 4,784 feet, which is 1,458 meters above sea level. Lowest is the goddamn ocean, because ocean is sea level. Uh, let's see here. Exception of some high altitude. The entirety of the state is a humid subtropical climate. Interesting. Of the states entirely east of the Mississippi River, Georgia is the largest in land area. Interesting. Are there any other interesting things to look at here? Um, mm, not really. Good old Georgia. It's a uh, place I've only driven through. Um, as I've mentioned before, mainly, this feels like what my assumption of Atlanta is. This just feels <clears throat> too... Uh, I'm going to just say we're here. I'm, I'm thinking we're around Atlanta, but also I think that church is just like primarily based out of Atlanta. And this is just like a side thing, if you want to call it that. What is on this car? Uh, he's an Atlanta Falcons fan. Oh, there's a lot of sports teams in Atlanta. You've got the Atlanta Falcons. You've got the Atlanta Braves. You've got the uh, football, basketball. You've got um, Atlanta Hawks. You've got hockey. Is there still the Atlanta Thrashers? There might not be. <clears throat> Or there could be. Um, I'm not too up on NHL as I should be. I'm sorry. Um, anything of interest in Georgia? I remember when I was a kid, and I think it was fourth or sixth grade, we had to pick a state to do your little report on. This is a quite a uh, real fancy gated thing for your church here. It's a little a little too much. Uh, it's mission it's Spanish apparently. Oh yeah, they do say the about seven and a half percent of uh Georgian speak Spanish. Oh I was mm, not too far, but still pretty far. The problem is I don't know how big Atlanta is like the central part and then when it starts getting into the suburban areas, so maybe this is like, you got city, suburban, and this is kind of like the next fringe, perhaps, I don't know. 
I'm not... I haven't spent enough time in Georgia to really know. Um, weather here seems to go all over the place here. We got Hamilton and Columbus. There is Columbus, but it is a bit of a drive away, 26 miles. Now we're going to look for Hamilton, which is right there. So I think we're probably around here. I'm going to call it that. We're on Route 27, I think. Let's see what this is. Is this a golf course? Callaway Gardens Country Store. Callaway Gardens. I think, I think the gardens. Interesting. Um, I'm going to put us here. And we might actually be like this way a bit, but this feels, that's a view though. Isn't that, isn't that nice? Country Kitchen Restaurant. Spirit of 52. I don't, I don't know. Country store. Very down home, homely feeling. Yeah, Callaway Gardens. Callaway Gardens, which is right there. So I think I nailed it. If not nailed it, pretty goddamn close. So let's just take a little drive so you can see what this, most of this place looks like. We've got Roots, you can tell this is what Georgia looks like as a state. Kinda, it's a little truncated a bit to fit on here. Like this part, if you look where that notch is, it kind of extends a little bit farther to the left. But you know, you're making it look fancy just for or for the sake of your root signs. One of the handy things about um uh the states here is most of them have their own little. <clears throat> symbol for their own roots and whatnot. Franklin Roosevelt State Park. But there's been a couple of times me doing um, places in Georgia where it does throw me for a loop just because, as in the previous picture, you saw all the trees without any leaves on them. It's my idiocy and inability to expect that any um, place south of, like, Virginia has winters and fall, you know, snow, shit like that, but clearly they do. I'm just a poor old northern boy who don't go down to the south much, so it gets too hot. Basically, all the complaints you can have about um, Florida, I can have here too. Um, it's, um, what, was, what was the show? Uh... Criminal, no, Masterminds, something, it's on Netflix about the forensic psychologists who, at, who created the thing at the FBI, and the most recent season uh, took place in Atlanta, and there was also another podcast, I didn't listen to the entirety of it, but I uh, um, listened to a lot of it, and it was very interesting, yeah, we're Pine Mountain there, I think we're pretty much, pretty much nailed it. Um, about all the, uh, I think there were young boy abductions in Atlanta that took place during the, uh, 70s. It's, it was very interesting. If you are looking for any podcasts to listen to, ooh, golf course. Can I go on the course? I miss golf. I didn't really get to do it at all this year. I'm hoping to <clears throat> do it next year as one of my, Goals and plans. Oh, we we're a little farther south. I got a, I got a cough. Give me a moment. Ah, uh, okay. I should also mention, as I haven't yet, to thank you all for watching. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions for any map or game that you want, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will look at them and potentially do them. Uh, for this week, since Christmas is um, two days from when this airs, I think for my, that, that's a G, that is um, Georgia University, or is it University of Georgia? I think it's University of Georgia. That's their college logo. Um, but since it is the holidays, for my sake, I am going to be recording 
Wednesday's video pretty much immediately after this. Usually I do it the night before, but to save myself a little bit of a um, issue come uh, Christmas Eve time, I'm just going to get like pump out as much as I can um, over the weekend. I think Fridays, I'll probably end up doing two, uh, Thursday night. But these two, oh nice, a little stop sign for your uh, backstop. Very sandy um, lawn here makes me think we're next to the water, which is a pretty large chunk of the state. That's kind of where I think we are right now, but uh, I, I, I really don't know. I'm hoping this way takes me towards water or at least shows me a root sign, but it's it's not looking promising here. That is a stop sign, I believe. Yep. Please, I'm going to look right here real quick to see if like maybe down the road there's a sign saying like, oh, the intersection of such and such, but we're not, it doesn't look that way. Thank you. Let me go a little bit farther. Um, we're about to run out of paved road. Go into dirt road. So that is very sandy. Hmm, I don't know. Did I go too far? I did not. Okay. Anything else um, as far as other videos this week? Eh, probably not. It's holidays. I'm going to just stick with the GeoGuessr stuff for now. And uh, be, be okay with that. I hope you guys are too. Granted, Battletech was a uh, fever dream of stuff I just felt like pushing out because it was very interesting to me. I think I'm doing a circle without realizing it. <clears throat> I don't know. I am concerned that I have not seen anything other than speed limit. Yeah, I've just done a fucking circle. Oak Ridge Road. Fucking get me out of here, please. I think this is a neighborhood watch sign. Yep. Really paranoid people down here. Let me find out where the hell we are. I got 25 seconds. Can I not go any farther? Okay, here we go. All right, I got to make a guess. So I'm going to guess we're like, I'm just going to click here. I know it's not that. I really have no idea where the fuck we are. I've not seen any information, um, any tips. How bad, how bad is it? Yeah, pretty bad. I didn't see anything. I was just stuck in this loop. I couldn't, I, this is what I was trying to get to, is just a root sign, but I couldn't. Oh well, this, it's probably a speed limit sign. Nope, this is pass with care. That don't help me, this is a, do not pass, okay. If you ever wonder how certain line patterns are here in the U.S., I'm pretty sure they have them in other places too, but this single dash line like this means it's, you know, it's okay to pass. You have no problem. Circle Heart Ranch. That is a Marines flag, I believe. If, well, we're going to come up to it here. You see, uh, let me just see if any of these have root signs. They do not. When it's like this, one solid line on one side and dashed on the other, that means the side that has the dash, it's okay to pass. The other side, not so much. I mean, this is all with the knowledge that these are only suggestions. You can totally pass whenever you want, but it's a bad idea to kind of do it. And then when they're both solid, see how it's gone the other way? So this side of the road can pass, but it's not really <clears throat> uh, suggested that the other side. It's usually because there's certain turns or whatnot, you have a better chance of seeing cars. Enjoy more beef. Well, since this sign on the side of the road told me to do it, God damn it, I'm going to. Okay, I gotta cough again. 
man. Uh, I hope I muted. If I didn't, oh my god, I am so sorry. But I gotta check again. We're not blinking. Good. All right. What the fuck road is this? I saw Cedar, Cedar something community, but give me. I see they're both solid like this. That's a do not pass. It's very much suggested that you do not pass. Okay, I do. I do see some signage up here. This is helpful. I want to see what this says because I'm curious. Little Okulgi State Park Lodge and Restaurant. Hmm. Not helpful. This might be Georgian's High Tech Corridor. I didn't see anything high tech about it. But a lot of abandoned buildings. So, all right, you got McRae, Fitch, Gerald, and Douglas. None of those show up here. So we're gonna. Get to this intersection and try to find out where the fuck we is. Dublin, Eastman, and Soperton. None of these. Dublin, Eastman, and Soperton, huh? Just doing a quick look. Not seeing... Oh, there is a Douglas. Wasn't that... Wasn't that one of these? Yeah, 56 miles, so it's very far away. Let's try to find from here where Fitzgerald would be. Not seeing it. McRae, let's zoom in a bit. I think I'm wasting too much time on this. McRae. Fitzgerald, there's Fitzgerald. Why is Douglas? Less. That's confusing. All right, we're tie tie. Interesting. All right, Dublin, Eastman, and so we're gonna go to this intersection. Just fucking do that first. I got twenty seconds. All right, so we got the forty six and thirty one. Um, I'm not seeing any of these. Forty six. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I wasted too much time. I wasted too much time looking at that. God damn it. That was real bad. Just like my score. <laughs> well, if looking through all of Georgia hasn't shown you anything, a lot of pine trees, which is another thing I did not assume that Georgia would have. Because I, I associate pine trees with uh, snow and winter. That's just me being dumb. So, we're on another high-tech corridor, whatever the fuck you want to call it. This looks like a fancy, fancy house. We got some fancy houses here, I think. Let's see what this trash can says. Can't tell. Everyone's got these bricked up fancy mailboxes because they're probably worried about mailbox baseball and if you don't know what mailbox baseball is maybe I shouldn't spoil it for you but just people drive by in their cars and hit mailboxes with their baseball bats something like this easily smackable with a bat ones like those brick ones not so much man we are getting to a stop sign up here I thought that might have been a okay we've got Oliver and Guyton these aren't big enough for me to uh, figure out where we are. Let's just do a quick look again. This is all I've been reduced to. All right, see nothing. All right, so if you had to, um, I said forward, thank you. Let's see what this sign says. Maximum gross weight. No, it's just like saying the weight of your car can only be so much. If you had to give you any suggestions about going Tuscaloosa Christian Church, well, Tuscaloosa is over in Alabama, which is way the fuck over there. If I had to give any suggestions, would I say go to Georgia? I've only driven through it, so I don't really have a good suggestion, but weather-based and religious-based, 
I mean, maybe it's just in the rural area here that it seems to be that way. Yeah, I feel this place is too hot. Not as bad as Florida, but I don't want to go here. It's a little too, too warm for me. I'm sure there's amazing things to come see. Oh, maybe it was Tusculum Church instead. But I am very much going to get a terrible score again off of this because I can't figure out where the fuck we are. Will I be as bad as Delaware? Probably. Excuse me. Oh, school bus. School buses are helpful because you fucking blurt it out. Effing him. If there's a god, he's laughing at us and our football team. That is a uh, Ben Folds song, Effington. So, 36 seconds, shit. Give me something. Just flying down, looking for any routes, any signs, any intersections. Uh, if you saw the way that one, oh, that truck is passing us, huh? That one place that I thought was next to the water, you saw how far inland it was to have that much sandy soil shit balls. All right, we're like here. We're nowhere near here, but I, I couldn't figure out where we are. Because this doesn't show up anywhere, and I got an awful score. Very bad. I don't even think I broke 10,000. No, I just barely did. Well, there you have it, folks. Wonderful. Amazing. Just fantastic. Great state of Georgia. I hopefully was able to show you the state and all of its majesty. So, if anybody ever tells you about Georgia, you can just say, Pine trees, sand, and I don't know, just churches, I guess. Anyway, that's Monday done. If you liked it or have a comment, question, concern, complaint, go ahead and put them in the comment section below. Along with like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that other stuff that everyone always asks you to do. I'm no different, I guess. Monday's done. The week has started. Holidays are coming up. I've got more videos to record. You have a week to live. So you go do it. I'll do mine. We'll meet back here again on a Wednesday for some more. So goodbye.